Assalamu alaikum. So, um, it's Thursday afternoon, uh, where I am in California. Uh, the moment that defines Laylatul Qadr, which is the moment where the sun crosses the equator going south, is about to happen according to astronomy um, at, in about four hours. Um, at 1 a.m. universal time uh, on Friday morning. And so uh, we know from Surat al-Qadr that Laylat al-Qadr lasts until Khatamat al-Fadr, um, so until the rising point or the rising time or place of the morning. Um, so that means that in places where it is now night, um, or where it is night um, and the sun has not yet risen by one o'clock universal time. That night, this night that is on right now is Laylatul Qadr. Um, and for places where the sun will have already risen by one o'clock universal time, um, the night that will be Laylatul Qadr will be the next night that comes. Um, so, the dividing line happens to be um, this year uh, in the a region of Pakistan. So for example, Karachi will not have seen the sunrise by the time that the sun crosses the equator southward. So this night that Karachi is in right now is Laylatul Qadr for Karachi and also for Kabul. But for a city like Islamabad, um, where the sun will have already risen by 1 a.m. universal time, the night that is Laylatul Qadr will be the night that is to come. Um, so not this night right now, but the night that is to come. Uh, so what the Prophet did, um, on Leil Tukhara looking, you know, at Leil Tukhara and looking for Leil Tukhara was to watch the sunrise and um, look to see what position on the horizon the sun broke through um, on that day. So that would be something to do uh, if you're in Karachi or anywhere west of there. Um, that would be something to do with the next sunrise. Um, if you are in Islamabad or anywhere east of that, um, it would be something to do with the next sunrise after one o'clock universal time on Friday morning. Um, so uh, as far as like, besides looking for the sunrise and noting the position, which you can use from year to year um, to see whether it's Leilatul Qadr or not. Um, remember at the time of the Prophet, there was not, you know, the internet telling everybody what time was the equinox. So they had to rely on where, whether the sun had crossed a certain position on the horizon. Um, so besides looking for the sun to cross that position on the horizon, um, one of the practices that was recommended by the Prophet when, um, when um, Aisha uh, asked the Prophet what she should supplicate on little Tukhadr, he said to her to say, Ayahuma innaka afuun, to hibl afwa for afu anni, which is, O Allah, you are the great forgiver, the great pardoner, you love forgiveness, so forgive me. Uh, and that prayer uh, is appropriate for this day, this day that, that um, helps determine what is going to happen in the, in the coming year. Um, so we see that this year, uh, the little cutter is coming 
within the last 11 nights of Ramadan. And therefore it signifies that in the coming year, we will have to double a month in order to make sure that when Leotul Qadr comes around the next time, we are calling that month Ramadan. So, uh, and the month that, that it seems as though um, was repeated would be Safar, because it is the first month that does not interfere with the holy months. Um, it is also the month that comes at the time of year when, when many calendars sort of make their adjustments. Um, the Jewish calendar has its month of adjustment at the same time. It's around February. Um, and the Roman calendar, as we all know, makes its adjustment in February. Um, so it seems to be a time of year when adjustments are made uh, in calendars uh, in the West. So, and it's the first, it's, it's, it's a month that does not have any, it, it, it's the first month after the three consecutive holy months. So you're not interrupting any of the three consecutive sacred months of the Lukada, the Hijjah, and Muharram if you then add a second suffer. Um, so, and there is traditions in the Tafsir um, that there used to be on occasions two suffers. So uh, that also speaks to the fact that suffer is the time when the intercalation or when the, when the elite month was added. So, um, there it is. Uh, a blessed little cutter to all that are observing this calendar. And um, yeah, I say also, Alhumma inaka afu and tuhibu afwa fa afu anni. And have a blessed little cutter and rest of the, of the month. Assalamu alaikum.